everybody welcome back to sunny soap garage it's been a long time since we filled one of these episodes but today as you can see there is no project chuck in the garage and uh we actually got it all stripped down and we want to clean the motor and everything before we start pulling the cab motor off so you know special sponsor shout out to super clean they sent us some really cool products a lot of degreasers we're going to give them a shot today on this motor and uh, see how well they do, first of all. So we got our power washer down here. We got our cleaner set up in the back of the UTV. We're gonna go through them real quick, and then we're gonna go over this motor and this whole truck all in its entirety. For everybody who's new to the channel, subscribe. Let's get on with the show. All right, getting into it. Let's see what Super Clean, the good folks at Super Clean sent us. Uh, well, we got ourselves, uh, looks like about three pounds of their floor dry. That is gonna come in handy, trust me. Could have probably used it when I uh, broke that radiator apart, but we're definitely gonna use it when we take the motor apart. So, floor dry. Uh, we have some super clean foaming task cleaner degreaser. This might be something that I use uh, when I need to soak some engine parts or something like that. I'm not sure, we'll see, uh, we'll see what this is all about, but we're not gonna use that one today. And all this stuff also, guys, I want to point out, biodegradable. And they sent us some wheel cleaner. We'll be using that on the Challenger uh, because those wheels are nice and light colored. And they get dirty pretty quick. So we're going to use the aerosol degreaser today. Let's go check out this engine and uh, see what we're dealing with. And then you guys can see how well this works. I've never used any of these products before. So I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to work. Uh, you know, I've used in the past big orange... Uh, Napa degreasers, things of that nature. Uh, these products here, they're sold at Walmart and they're fairly inexpensive. So you're not gonna break the bank using them. Let's go check out this motor. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, she's not too grimy. You just have a lot of oil mist, things of that nature. Just kind of your typical buildup that we're gonna be trying getting off because nothing's worse than wrenching and pulling a motor and just slipping off of everything and just being completely grimy. I would like to pull this motor off and have it be somewhat clean before I disassemble it. The rest of the truck, as you can see, is pretty much stripped down. We'll be taking the cab off here shortly. Uh, I gotta do a little work in the garage, get the winch moved to a different rafter, reinforce it because I'm gonna use a winch to pull it off and uh, brace it up top, lift it up and pull the truck out to the drive here. And then we'll build a dolly for that and then start the metal work. We haven't touched this truck since last winter. We've pretty much stripped it all down. If you guys haven't seen those episodes, they'll be up top. I'll, I'll send you to the playlist. But we pretty much abandoned the bed, took it off. Uh, I'm not going to throw out the doors because I had someone tell me, thank you very much, that the aftermarket doors aren't worth a dang. And it is well worth the money to have those redone. So we kept the doors front ends completely trashed we kept the hood and the lower cowl and then we're going to work on the cab so this thing has been it's been beat its whole life just a good old boy long about now i bet that boy wishes he had a parachute oh, we're going to give it a good old shake remember aerosol degreaser dissolves grease super easy super fast it's not just it's clean, clean it's super clean yeah. we'll see Thing. I've never used anything biodegradable that was worth anything, so we'll give it a shot. I'm starting to think this might be like a degreaser <laughs> that might be made for like countertops or something, you know? It sprays on pretty thick, I'll give it that. Oh, yeah, look at that. See that? Nice greasy gearbox. Greasy, greasy valve covers. Oh yeah. Just greasy, greasy, greasy. Grossy Josie. Ew. I'm not Josie Grossy anymore. Let's get this wiring harness out of the way. Ugh. Come on. Quit fighting me. Yeah, it's already working. Blech. Let's 
Now I don't plan on keeping much of this stuff. Um, essentially, I'm just gonna keep the motor parts, everything, hoses, brake booster, all that's gonna be replaced. Oh yeah. I might break out that spray because this stuff seems like more of a countertop type of degreaser. I need something that will run down. So saying that, whew, it's hotter than fish grease out here, you guys. I'm not liking the way that stuff is spraying out. I think if you had more of a, of a uh, multi, or if you had more of a flat surface, plate surface that you were looking for, we're not gonna use the foam and stuff. I think I'm just gonna use the straight uh, degreaser. I think that aerosol, if you were using it on more of a flat plane surface, like a, a greasy countertop of some sort, it might be better. I need something that's gonna run down in the cracks. I found this in my husband's garage. Ooh, let's see here, stream. And we have spray. There we go. I think this is gonna be better than uh, what uh, the foam spray. Oh, you can kind of tell. It's already going to work, guys. Is it already going to work? Oh, look at that. But you haven't seen, I bet they hasn't seen the engine orange in forever. Let me get this thing sprayed down and uh, we'll start washing. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. It's extremely hot out today too. So this stuff is kind of evaporating a little bit and they said not to let it dry. So we're gonna start knocking it out right away, but it's already starting to get to the original paint, which is kind of cool, but I think it might start eating some of this stuff off. <laughs> let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh man, you could see, look at that, that balancer. Well, I'm guessing it was painted orange at one time, but uh, look at that, it's starting to, get through that grime and get to the original valve covers. Now I'm gonna power wash this. We're gonna time lapse it, see how clean we can get, and then I'm gonna bring you in for the final results. I'm Super Clean's biggest fan. Well, this all will dry fairly quick and uh, mainly you guys are probably thinking why would I power wash this this right here anyways but I get all that road grime and dirt off I don't want to be wire wheeling this thing and and messing with it because I don't have a sandblaster dealing with road grime and dust and all that mud and stuff that's been packed up in that frame uh, I don't want to deal with it so we power washed it and then we can uh P.O.R. 15 rust prohibitor paint that thing and make it look like brand new again And I wasn't bashful about cleaning out the inside either as you guys can tell uh, It's all rusted anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> it's not gonna rust anymore. Well, it will but not that I care of All right, let's check out this engine. I mean that degreaser it, it did what it needed to do uh, I think the power washer probably had a lot to do with uh, getting this stuff off, but it sure did help so uh, I'm not sure I could have done the same with maybe a garden hose, but if you wanted to take your time, it would probably have been a good uh, product to use if you wanted to sit here and scrub on it with a garden hose. We're gonna let this thing sit outside overnight, a little drip dry. Um, like I said, man, I think that stuff did a good job. It did what it needed to do. The power washer really did put in a lot of work, so I'm not gonna say that this is some super magic uh, degreaser that you don't have to put in work. The land of make-believe. Uh, but it did what it was supposed to do and my little flanges won't be getting busted on these nuts <laughs> Got him. Uh, Grease covered nuts when I start busting all this stuff up and uh, Maybe I can be that much more a little cleaner when I pull this thing out because as you guys can tell I don't have a whole lot of room in this shop. So actually 
I gotta get this place cleaned up. It's an absolute pigsty right now. I have not cleaned this since, I don't know, uh, since that generator video. That's how long it's been since I've been down here. We did push Big Red in here. Uh, we we're probably gonna start working on that, getting that running too, but. And then we got chicken feed in here too, so my barn is filling up quick. So, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but uh, I got a little something something over there. You guys know that's a soda machine. Think about making a gun safe out of it. So, uh, I don't know. I'm just running out of room for all these projects.